I think the question about hurricanes and tropical cyclones and climate change is really interesting because I think it's a it's a part of climate science that's advanced a lot in the past decade. And I think if you'd asked some of these same questions five or 10 years ago about whether or not there's a climate signal in rapid intensification or in storms slowing down and their translational speed, I think you would have gotten, most scientists would have said that we don't know. It's possible, but we just don't know at this point. Um, but that is starting to change a little bit. And there is some evidence now emerging that the there may well be an increased propensity for storms in a warming world, particularly storms um, occurring over a warming ocean to rapidly intensify with greater frequency or greater intensity, particularly uh, as they near the coast. That is what the recent observational evidence suggests. And there is some modeling evidence that supports that. And it's if that ends up turning out to be a, a broader truth about how we can expect hurricanes to change in a warming climate, it's pretty concerning because those specifically are the types of hurricanes that are the most dangerous, the ones that blow up very quickly near the coast, close to making landfall and can become quite strong with relatively limited warning. These aren't necessarily your Cape Bird style, style storms where you have days and days of warning and a fairly clear idea of where the path might take it. These are storms that can behave very erratically. And if it ends up being the case that this, this becomes a signature of hurricanes in a warming world, that's going to be a big problem. Um, and I think that there, in general, there, there is a growing amount of evidence that um, there are a variety of characteristics of hurricanes and tropical cyclones that are being affected by warming. Interestingly, not necessarily the number of storms. In fact, that's the most simple metric that a lot of people might think of is probably the one for which there's the least evidence for a large change or a large increase in the number of storms. And that's essentially what climate models tell us. Some of them disagree even on whether there will be an increase or a decrease in the overall number of storms. But where they don't seem to disagree, where they actually agree quite strongly, is that the fraction of very intense storms is likely to increase as the oceans warm, which makes sense given that warm oceans are essentially hurricane fuel. So even if you, even if you make other conditions um, in the atmosphere less favorable for the development of hurricanes, every once in a while you're going to get storms that sneak in under favorable conditions and can take advantage of those much warmer oceans to become more intense. So we're starting to see the most clear evidence right now is that storm surges are getting worse because the ocean, the sea level is rising. Um, the, and secondly, that the extreme precipitation associated with hurricanes is also increasing due for thermodynamic reasons as well. Those two elements of hurricane changes in a warming world are almost incontrovertible at this point. But I do think there's also a growing amount of evidence for this increased propensity for rapid intensification and for very intense category four, category five uh, level storms.